Hello, my pretties. For my Are You Worth It series, I picked up some things from Sephora because they're starting their holiday sets. And you know what that means. Sephora favorites. Mm-hmm. I was able to pick up two so far. They like to do everything in sections. Like, I don't know, making you spend more on more and not save on the shipping. I don't know. But I snagged two of them as fast as I could. Uh, a couple days later, another two came out. I haven't picked those up yet, but I will. So for the first one, we have the Sephora Favorites Holiday Must Haves. All right, so we're gonna readjust the camera so you can get a view of the products. Straightforward, crystal clear, and not of this pretty face. So I'll be right back. Are you ready for the next one in the Are You Worth It series? All right, here we go. We have the Sephora Favorites Holiday Must Haves set. This was $58, claims to have a value of 184. As you can see on here, it says it has a few full size items. Here is the bag. It is puffer jacket-esque um, but in a very very pink barbie pink bag oh what is this? like we got barbie embroidered on there who would buy that huh? gotta be careful i got some glass in here Here are all the items scattered across. First we have from Lawless. This is the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss in Velvet. Yes, in Velvet. This retails for $26. I've gotten these in the past. Um, because of the plumping part of it, I'm a bit afraid. Um, so I never use it. Uh, and that'll be true for this one as well. This one will probably most likely go into my Poshmark. Next item is from Milk Makeup. This tiny little thing is a full size item. This is uh, the Lip and Cheek cream blush in work which is a dusty rose again full size item even though it's tiny full size and this retails for $24 next from Charlotte Tilbury this is the uh what is this called the airbrush flawless setting spray this is in a 1.1 fluid ounce bottle This does retail for $23. I am interested in trying this. I'm afraid it's going to smell like old lady floral scent. As Charlotte Tilbury has overwhelming amount of that scent in her items, I'm afraid. But I still am going to give it a go. Next item is from Makeup Eraser. This is the mini, uh, where did it go? Mini pink makeup eraser. This is an eight by four little thingy. This is $10 on the Sephora site. I like a makeup remover, well, makeup eraser. But really, all it is, is a microfiber cloth. You can buy these at the dollar store. I'm gonna 
use this because, you know, I only have one. And so it's nice to have another one, but I don't ever use it just to remove my makeup. Okay. Um, people say, yeah, it takes off all your makeup. No, 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 no. A true skincare baddie would never do that. Use this just to remove your makeup and no. I go in with my cleansing balm. And I wet my hands and I, you know, milk it all up. And then I use this to remove that cleansing balm with the, you know, broken down makeup on it. And then I go in with my cleanser. And then I, again, use the other side and I wipe with uh, the eraser to remove whatever is left. And then I repeat. <laughs> uh, but I do think that this is so much money and you can get it for cheaper. Definitely get it for cheaper. Next from Dr. Dennis Gross, we have the mini size, which is five sets of the Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. So you have five of step one and five of step two, total of 10 packets in here. Uh, this does retail for $20, this five pack. Um, I have used this and I did like it. It's just, I only had like, you know, one. So I never got to see exactly how well it works for me, but in a sense, it's essentially like lactic acid. One peel pad is going to exfoliate your skin while the other one neutralizes the acid you just put on your skin. Um, but eventually I'll give that a try. Next we have from Youth to the People, the Kale Green Tea. What is this called? Kale, green tea, spinach, vitamins, superfood, cleanser. This is a two ounce bottle. Sephora does sell this at this size for $14. And they say you can re reuse this jar. I mean, it is glass, so. So, you know, you can use it for other things. I have used it, it didn't, like it's just a cleanser to me. It didn't help with aging or dark spots or anything like that. It just was a soft, gentle cleanser. That's all it was for me. Next we have from Amika. This is the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This is in a one ounce can. Abika nor Sephora sell it at this size. So therefore this is a zero value. I don't really use dry shampoo when my hair is curly, only in the winter when I have my hair straight do I actually use a dry shampoo because I'm going much longer without washing my hair. Um, and I still have dry shampoo from last year <laughs> still have plenty uh so i don't i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i don't know next we have from kvd beauty this is the tattoo pencil liner in trooper black this is a full size this does retail for 23 dollars I actually have one myself right here, got in, in one of my Ipsy's. Uh, you can, you know, 
turn the bottom and it'll move it up. I don't really use it all too often just because it does not stay in my waterline. And that's the whole point. I want to put on eyeliner and I want it to stay. Um, but this one doesn't, so I don't really use it all that often. So this is most likely going to go in my Poshmark as well. Next we have from Beauty Blender. This is the original Beauty Blender. This does retail for $20. This is its original normal size. Um, I mean, it's nice. But there are a lot of a lot of sponges out there and you don't necessarily need to spend twenty dollars on a sponge and i definitely don't need any more sponges i have a ton a ton next we have from fenty beauty this is the a deluxe sample of the hella thick volumizing mascara in the color because I'm black this is a 0.12 fluid ounce amount of mascara this is a newer one I have not tried this one I have tried the full frontal mascara not a fan does not do what I want it to do for my lashes but maybe this one would work um, unfortunately because this one is newer Sephora nor Fenty sell it in a mini size yet so zero value. Last item. It is from Huda Beauty. This is the a mini of the Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in Banana Bread. It is meant for light, medium, and tan skin tones, golden undertones to brighten and disguise under eye darkness. Uh, this retails for $22. Um, I I like this square. Really nice. And, and check this out. So this part goes up. You twist. And you have a puff. And you can just boop boop. I love that. I love that. That's, that's genius. And I don't, I wouldn't, like if I traveled, I wouldn't mind taking this. This is not going to take up as much space as, as this would. So this is really cute. And I have not tried this before, so I'm interested in trying it. That's all the items. Of the 11 items, nine of them have a value, two of them do not. That is great for me. Guys, guys, let me, let me, I, let me tell you, hold on. Remember here, it said retail value of an eight of 184. Well, let me tell you, oh my God, it's really close. It's actually a retail value of 182. They are $2 off. I will give it to them. This is is what I'm talking about. I want the value to match what it says. This is definitely worth the money. 
worth it. I'm I'm stoked. I can't wait to get the other two. And ooh. Mmm. And I have new items to try. Guys, with that, I want you guys to have a good day. And I will see you in the next one.